Boss, there's something I want to talk about. It concerns the running of Mother Base. Come meet me. You came. This base belongs to you now. Make Diamond Dogs the force it deserves to be. Like any organization, we need good people. And we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. Start bringing people in. Use this. It's a Fulton recovery device. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. Then we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Boss! Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. What's the matter, boss? That's one way of doing it. Now extract it. Good. Extraction, Extraction complete. Arrived at they can only bolt and recover someone if they're not resisting. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. Staff member, you just extracted to be assigned to the team that's hang on a minute, boss. Boss! <laughs> Staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye door. Select staff Extraction management from the mother... So motorbase. that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Please specify That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called Cardboard Box? Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. Boss, put the iDroid away from them. You can also Fulton extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Show them how it's done, boss. Try <laughs> Way to knock someone out instantly. Good. Extraction complete. Arrived at One base. thing I should mention a Fulton Unit extraction will always added. be successful. Development if a person is injured, the added. shock of it could kill them. And if the weather's unfavorable, well, they could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. Boss, now that we have more people on the R&D team, its level has gone up. They should be able to develop the cardboard box now. Open your eye drawer. Select weapons items Please under... The now select project. cardboard box and start development. This be a... Development has finished. Please, so you can have the support requested. unit supply you with weapons and items to develop. Think complete. of it as your own personal delivery service. Supply drop, and there it is. Not sure what it's good for, but Miller said you know what to do. Try it out. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all placed on the R&D team, but that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Please select landing zones. This is B Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Boss, let's practice your CQC. Begin by grabbing. This is B Quad. On station at LZ. Go for them, not me. <laughs>
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Mission list updated. Boss, I know you haven't been back long, but I prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. Please select a mission. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added Please are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. Penalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's little Britain. Why Dekelia? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. That's what kept you safe in British military hospital for nine years. The safest place from a whale is inside its own belly. You were a regular Geppetto. Well, it wasn't Pinocchio who led me out to safety. So who was that guy? Cypher went so far as to attack British territory, burning their own ally. That's how badly they wanted you dead. Miller told me about what happened in the Caribbean nine years ago. You do remember Miller. You'd formed a private army with him. An army with no allegiance to a nation. I remember, but... I see. You're not sure what's fact and what's a fantasy caused by the coma. It's still all a mess, huh? All I can do is tell you the facts as they were told to me. I've gone easy on you up until now, but this is where the hard stuff begins. <sighs> 1974, the year before you entered your coma. You were in Colombia, operating with a small unit of men, basically mercenaries. Miller was among them. Miller was trying to find a way to turn his and your talents into a line of work. He was looking to start a business where you would fight on behalf of others around the world, those who needed military force. But the reality was, at that time, you didn't have enough gear to equip your own men. Then Miller came across this client. It was a huge job he was offering, but you had a shot at pulling it off. You accepted it and headed into Costa Rica. The client even threw in an offshore facility in the Caribbean. The mother base, that would be your new base of operations. Miller sure did have a head for business. As your mission went on, your unit grew and grew. More weapons, more money. Before you knew it, you were commanding 300 men. As the organization got bigger, your military power swelled to match. It got so the international community couldn't afford to ignore you. You were just too damn successful for your own good. You, your men, had worn out your welcome. Everyone was out for you. East, West, First World, Third. It was only a matter of time before someone took you down. And that was XOF. Officially, they're an anti-terror unit under the CIA. In reality, they're Cypher's private strike force. They lured you to Cuba using Chico, the Nicaraguan revolutionary kid, and Paz, a mole who worked for Cypher as bait. While you were gone, XOF, posing as a nuclear inspection team, stormed Mother Base. At the same time, C4 they placed on the strut legs went off. The whole thing went down in minutes. 
XOF. Kisses and hugs followed by a big F U. All because of Miller's blind spot. A back door into Mother Base no one suspected. You remember a certain scientist? Huey was responsible for bringing the inspection team on board, giving the enemy a perfect opportunity to hit you at home. You were returning from Cuba when it happened. Mother Base came damn close to taking you with it into the Caribbean. Those of your men out on assignment returned right away. They refused to believe the wreckage in the water they found was Mother Base. But they checked the coordinates again and again until reality finally settled in. You were supposed to die that day. That was XOF's primary objective. As far as most folks know, you did. The first doctor to see you wasn't even sure what he was looking at. Before they'd even finished operating, your men moved you to that hospital in Cyprus. There was a woman named Eva who arranged that. Rings a bell, hmm? Huh? Most men in your condition would have been written off right from the start. But you survived. You went straight down to hell, and they pulled you out. Your eye wide open. Full of venom. The days of Naked Snake are long gone. Welcome back, Venom Snake. This world still needs you. Your Snake, try this on. A prosthetic arm. Yeah, Miller was calling it the arm that wasn't there. The physiotherapy's going well. Your arm's bulked up enough for it to fit. There. Perfect. A little time with it, and it'll work better than the real thing. What do you think? Huh. I can still feel my real arm. Well, you better get used to this one quick. You have any pain? Every now and then. Where? My fingertips. My left fingertips. Uh, sounds like phantom pain. Your brain still remembers your old hand. Yeah. What about your vision? Can you see okay? Yeah, at the moment. Now, the shrapnel in your skull is pressing on your optic nerve. I'm told any hard impact could have an effect on your visual cortex. Yeah, the doctor mentioned that. Your brain might process visual information incorrectly. In other words, you could have hallucinations. You might see things that aren't there, or not see things as they really are. You experience any of that? I think so. When? Right after I wake up. Colors look faded. Colors, huh? Well, that's not a major concern in and of itself, but it could mean the difference between life and death in the field. You'll need to watch out for that. I will. All right. You should continue your physio. We'll be arriving soon. It's the last chance you'll get. Snake, I wanted to ask you about the man on fire. What do you remember from the hospital? Anything we can use? Well, he took off the moment the sprinklers started up. Sprinklers? The fire system? And when he got sprayed with water from the burst pipe, it slowed him down. When we escaped on horseback, he wouldn't cross the river either. And then it started to rain. And he disappeared. Water against fire. Is it that simple? I mean, it makes sense. It's just hard to believe it would work on a guy like that. Please select a mission. Farming villages in southern Vahan have been subjected to a strategic bombing campaign the past several weeks. The damage is spreading. It's part of the Soviet scorched earth operation aimed at wiping out the guerrillas. The target this time is the commander of a Spetsnaz detachment. He's been key to the operation's success. People say this guy's responsible for annihilating the Mujahideen at Dismasi Laman, the Hamid fighters, overnight. He's a tough, experienced commander. Don't underestimate him. The order from my client in the West is to shoot on sight. They want him out of the picture for good. Sorry, boss. This one's purely business. Wet work. A hit on a commanding officer of the Soviet military. Nothing personal. We're only doing this because it gets us one step closer to our goal.
Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Afghanistan. Target is a Spetsnaz detachment commander. Your orders are to take him out. With skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. But I'll leave the method up to you. Boss, make your way to Deshago Calais and eliminate the target. Arrived at Mother Base. You have arrived at your destination. You arrived at the objective. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. And don't forget, he has a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. Keep your guard up.
extract him. as loud as any other now. If you have to shoot...
search for you. But they're not giving the all clear just yet. Stay alert. Please select a support helicopter Roger. requested. Mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. 